So today, my objective is trying to decide a little bit what class I'm gonna play. There are so many classes in this game, right? Um, what what uh, race, what sub race, what origin? I would like to figure that out. So I will try to play the game a little bit. I don't know for how long, but you know, my main objective is trying to get a feel for the game a little bit, so that when it comes out, I get to to enjoy it, knowing what I'm gonna do. So let's check this out by the devs. They they break down every class. Uh, let's see. The cool thing about Huffling is that if you're a Huffling Barbarian and you have other friends who are Huffling Barbarians, you can throw each other uh, like this ball of rage. Oh, that's cool. 12 classes, oh my god. Break down every uh, class. My name is Sven Winke. I'm the game director on Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, I'm Adam Smith, lead writer of Baldur's Gate 3, all. Larian Studios. I'm uh, Nick Pechenin. I'm lead systems designer at Larian. Barn. Okay. More fun than I expected, because I, uh, if there's anything that I hate more than a fighter, it's, it's a bard. <laughs> but they're actually pretty cool. Favorite thing about bards? Bard could be fun them. to play. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're they're a little bit of a uh, of everything. So they're almost the closest you would get to classes in that sense. Country and, spells. Uh, I like uh, we had the system with all these stones that are in there. So I like it, a vicious mockery, I think. Uh, so you get all these stones that are coming out of it. And it's just cool. Second favorite thing about bards is just playing instruments in the street and people joining in and dancing. Oh, that's really cool. cool. Um, bards have always been the comedy class to me. Like, uh, they still are. I know that people really love bards. Comedy class. Uh, I love them, but I mostly love throwing them off a cliff as a barbarian. <laughs> I mean, if you want to have a, a fun playthrough. We do like throwing It's a theme. <laughs> it's a pillar. Um, for bards, our audio team really went all out. Like, there is an action that bards can do which is to insult somebody, and they recorded Ooh. dozens of insults. That like you a monkey island. In if you will try to actually start insulting people in combat. Um, oh my we've God. recorded multiple musical instruments, multiple songs that they can uh, perform on those musical Your instruments. Your mama and the really smells cool like hamsters. Do, and it's kind of unique, is that at really high level, at level 10, uh, they can pick a spell wow, that Kostik. is coming from That's other me. spell class. Uh, oh, other, you can push them off. Lists. So they can uh, take uh, a heal from a cleric or telekinesis from from the wizard. Uh, that really also creates a lot of a lot of combinations that you can do. Okay, barbarian. I mean, uh, big the rage PP. machine. Uh, rage. Uh, that's the character you want to take. We're going to throw people. Uh, you want to throw oh people. Oh my God, this? You want to throw goblins into other goblins. Halfling barbarian. Goblin, smack another goblin with it. You can take your halfling companion. Throw it on the other side of a wall, uh, maybe trying to break them in. Uh, okay, the that's kind of cool. are endless. Though. You might think there doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of intelligence to play a barbarian, but there's a lot of things you could do with, with just being really strong and, and throwing stuff around. I mean, they, they say they say that you can take one class and make a subclass out of it, right? As in, you are a barbarian, but you can have a spell or, you know. So the combinations are limitless, basically. Smack a goblin with a goblin sounds like a big gameplay. You just, you take him, you throw it at the goblin or something, right? This chick, I think I want her in my party. She's like a barbarian, right? We have an origin character who's a barbarian we announced recently that's Kalak. Uh, Kalak. She's a tiefling barbarian. Uh, she has her oh my, unique wah, 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 rage. So barbarians rage, you know, uh, and it looks awesome, it sounds awesome. Uh, Kalak also bursts into flames when she does this. So uh, just... On Divinity Origin Sin 2, I played Summoner, mainly. Yeah, it was, uh, Summoners were fucking OP from what I played. Uh, at, at level 10, you can have this big imp and buff it a bunch, and easy clap, you can play the game with only a summoner, and that's it. She's even cooler. Wizard. Well, Sven always plays as a wizard, yes. uh, and this usually means that he has 50 spells, and he resorts to fireball every single time. If that doesn't work, he then starts pulling spells out of his pockets and firing them in every single direction. And he's flying and teleporting and zipping around. It's very dangerous to be near Sven as a wizard. <laughs> That's what I know about it's wizards. It's lethal, yeah. <laughs> Frequently. I, I feel like I it's saw, more dangerous I saw that wizards, wizard. they have so many um, subclasses. Look at the classes over here. All of these are like subclasses, right? And wizard is, is like crazy. All the schools. Shit, I don't know. Paladin as well. 
And cleric. Oh my god, cleric got a, a bunch. Those are all subclasses. This is crazy. It's crazy. Is it behind me sometimes? <laughs> it's not too. You, you want to you wanna keep your wizard in your line of sight yeah, at exactly. all times. So, yeah. <laughs> so not safe. Uh, yeah, wizard is a one man marching band uh, kind of character. They have everything. But seek a, very seek a, uh, spells, they prepare spells together for... Together with their uh, enemies all the time. So uh, yeah, if you're playing the wizard, it's really It can be a hole in both <laughs> Gate 3. I hope so too. Uh, yes, about wizard all uh, Fireball. Yep. <laughs> Flight as well, actually, this is the favorite. Like, he basically wants to be an aeroplane. Wait, oh, uh, I want to be a warlock, so I think it's Eldritch Blast, right? That's what it was, I remember that. Fighter. <laughs> Another one we have an origin for is a Lysalza Fighter. They have the simplicity. Oh, that's a woman from the like trailer, it's, right? It's a really good class to learn leveling up because you don't have to make many choices. Once you get to high level, you get ridiculously strong. Uh, but they, they are simple compared to some of the other martial classes. Fighters are very versatile. Yeah, imagine uh, this can game modern. They equip uh, almost anything in the game uh, right from the get-go. They're good at with all Fighter weapons, is just punchy armors. boy or uh, what? So Fighter is, is a really good class to start creating really crazy combos in terms of rare equipment that you can find and combine together. Maybe I can do a Fighter for my class. Uh, probably my second sorcerer. favorite class. Was my favorite class uh -huh. until very recently. I mean, Sorcerer is just... Sorcerer I mean, is cool, right? We have a line somewhere in the game, I think, where Gale says Sorcerer is like a basic wizards. bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he has very little respect for them because they're not scholarly. And uh, the, I mean, wild magic sorcerers are my favorite thing in the game. They, uh, they, they are chaos. Wild I'm magic. I'm ambivalent about whether it's storm sorcery or uh, wild magic. I think probably wild magic because of the chaos it creates. Sorcerer is a class that, that really breaks the game. So they have this feature called Meta Magic that allows them to modify some of their spells. Let's say you can throw two fireballs at the same time, Ooh. or uh, make one of your spells um, be a lot more distant, let's say. So there's a lot of things you could do. Um, and the most crazy stuff that I see coming from a playfest, it's usually a sorcerer. Okay. Paladin's my favorite class to roleplay. Um, I, I like that they have an inbuilt story. They have an oath. Uh, they uh, sworn to that oath. We did something that I think is incredibly cool with them, which is the Oathbreaker. There's multiple ways. Uh, it depends also on which... I mean, paladins are to, like... Uh, eh, but if you... I like to be uh, boring. For instance, uh, you're supposed to help all of the, of the weak and you start murdering them, then the Oathbreaker is going to come and say you broke your oath and then oh, you wow, that's get crazy. a really special moment in the game. Um, we always Damn. wanted to include that's it. That's what they mean yeah, by the reactive war, I guess. It, and, uh, and we knew that we'd need narrative support for it. Um, people may have seen it already, but um, I won't spoil it too much. But if you haven't, uh, be a paladin, do something really terrible and see what happens. The cool thing about paladins... What if you are a paladin, Dark Orch? That's like contradictory, right? And you start listening to the Dark Orch all the time. That could be an interesting playthrough. But they deal a lot of radiant damage, and this is a game where you slay a lot of undead. Right? And Paladin Dark Orch? A lot of undead are very vulnerable to radiant damage. So when... Wait, it's apparently very easy to break your oath. Someone play a Paladin in one of the playthroughs and he broke his oath super easily. Even though the thing wasn't, uh, he wasn't doing wasn't technically terrible. Damn. I mean, probably they fixed it by now. I don't know. The Oathbreaker scene is really cool. Holy shit, there is so much to this game. I don't know, this is crazy. The, the party comes to a town that is filled with undead. All the party members might say like, oh no. This so if you break fight, your oath, are you still like, a paladin? <laughs> <laughs> or you become a fighter or something? Warlock. I might Warlocks, be this one. I, it was the first class I played in BG3, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I was uh, playing around with Will, who's one of our origins as well. Um, and it, it's another one with really interesting narrative support. So with Will, you have the pact, you're the person you have the pact who appears in the game. Um, so this is somebody with gifted powers. Um, it's a really I want a, a warlock just to have a Sukubus. Bring the warlock side of Mount more. Um, really pleased to do them. Warlock is a good starter class if you oh, want to try Spellcaster, but you don't want to go uh, and have a wizard with like 30 spells available. Okay, uh, that's for cool. Warlock, the number of spells you have is limited, but each of them hits very, very hard. So it's a little bit like somebody with a shotgun. You have only two, two blasts. <laughs> yeah, but okay. they count. 
They didn't say much about Warlock. I, I need a cleric because I get hurt a lot. So, <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's a reason Shadowheart's my favorite companion. Oh, wow. Uh, Shadowheart is the cool. first one that comes to mind. Uh, too powerful, really. Clerics are really versatile, I mean, right? I mean, uh, but uh, for me, they're the healer. They're the person who stands at the background and goes, why did you do that? <laughs> and then they fix me up and I go, thanks, God. <laughs> Whichever one. <laughs> Um, clerics are kind of sneakily the better caster uh, than the wizard, actually. <laughs> I, I, I might say a heresy here. Uh, so in this type of game, it's not like the you don't need a tank, you don't need a healer per se, right? You can just have whatever combo in your party that you want. But I'm gonna be trying to make it a little bit balanced, having a, a a healer, at least one healer in my party and one melee class, right? Oh, you wanted balance, really? Because in Divinity Original Sin 2, I didn't, you know, you don't really need to have a, a tank or a healer or something. You want for sure one balance. Oh, damn, your party suffers if there isn't balance. That's crazy then, okay. Unless you play four warlocks. <laughs> I mean, so if I want to play a warlock, I need, I need a, a cleric, probably, right? Or a druid, I guess. Um... Red Bear Flea, you take that back right now. Divinity Origin 2, it's, it's like the combat is what to, drew me into the game. Excuse me. You just had a hot take in, in here, okay? Calm down, Red Bear. Calm down. <laughs> I watched some friends play four Warlocks and they just did so much fucking damage. Okay. Yeah, you're from a distance doing the, the Eldritch Blast and, and yeah. They cancel me on Twitter. What do you mean? Like the combat of Divinity Origins in 2 is fucking amazing. I loved it. Uh, to be fair, I always played like Lone Wolf or one character only in Divinity Origins in 2. Like I literally played with one summoner and that was it. And then I did a playthrough with Irina where we were both um, Lone Wolves. So two characters. And we still were on hard difficulty too. And the game became so much more enjoyable. Each fight became so meaningful. I don't know. Armor and not be silenced while they do it. So uh, you you get the protection from having really good equipment, but also you you can have 20, those 20, 30 spells on, on your hotbar and, and have an answer to so many different situations. Oh, rangers like a uh, hunter, right? Cool pets. 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 Uh, so we and we have this re especially higher level pets because they grow. Okay, least uh, enjoy them. your dinner. Yes, the pets get uh, get upgraded. If you um, uh, summon them at higher levels, uh, they will get really cool armors. Rangers are healers names. too. They will get new powers. And so that they too. can grow alongside with you. Um, but that is for the Beastmaster subclass of Ranger. And for release, we're adding the Gloomstalker, which might be my favorite subclass. Mm -hmm. uh, that's the sneaky Ranger type. Uh, Ooh, that's that cool. A lot of people gravitate to in RPGs. It's like a it's rogue really or something. It's really fun to shoot from shadows. Druid. Oh my uh, god. Great class. I love Druid. Bears. Should I say more? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Wild shaping. It can turn into a dino, into a panther, but also into a badger that can burrow to the ground. It's great. So me, I, I'm very basic with druids. I only recently realized we did spores. Uh, like, um, I, 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 I mean, druids sound fun. When we first put them in the game, uh, so they were one of the patch editions. I spent a lot of time with them then. Uh, my sister, who's a huge D&D player, she will only ever be a druid. Um, oh my god, a that's a big person. boy. She loves being able to wild shape. So it's always her class, we play co-op together. Um, so for me, the druid is, it's, it's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, turning to different beasts, that, that's really the, uh, the really signature thing for druids. We made sure that we had a big selection of really interesting beasts to turn into. This uh, is crazy. And we, we hope you can get, uh, you can do all the ruckus in the city when you turn into a bear oh God, and idiot. start scaring everybody. Rogue. Rogue was my first tabletop D&D class because I was a goth uh, when I was a teenager. And I, I would to love to have a Schwarzbacher. Cool. And, uh, and then I was like, oh, basically I'm an assassin. I'm super but they cool, don't like have it, locks and all the rest of it. Um, 
the what I realized was the party I was playing with basically treated me as a key ring. I was the person that folded <laughs> that's around, like, that's the locks, you. and then they were like, oh, there might be some traps in there, and they shoved me forward, and they hoped I survived. <laughs> um, that's my rogue experience. <laughs> Every party needs a rogue. Um, they really? not only bring this stealth gameplay when they can assassinate people and attack from the shadows, um, they're also really lock, good at a lot of skills, yeah. sleight of hand. If you need something uh, stolen, if you need a lock picked, if you need an arm, uh, a trap disarmed, um, you're always gonna go to your rogue. Uh, but also they can learn other skills and be really kind of jack of all trades. Who's uh, a rogue? So sort of, a sort of is a rogue? Uh, it's really uh, yeah, interesting to one. see okay. the new subclass, uh, Assassin, uh, Assassin. In, in combat. Uh, they kind of weave in and out of combat, trying to go into shadows and come back uh, unannounced uh, uh, and, you know, backstab everybody, basically. That's cool. Monk. Well, that's not my favorite. Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, when Monk went into the game, I was like, uh, I have no idea, never played a Monk before. Uh, and I started playing with it because I was interested because, you know, it was new and fell in love with it. Um, one Monk, Monk, for some reason, doesn't sound as appealing to me. I don't know why, but, but probably it's amazing. Things that, I mean, I, I love, I always do the ninja style Shadow Monk. Ninja um, style, so that's cool. it's hit and run tactics for me. Uh, you can take down really big things on, in solo. Like if you're trying to solo as a monk, it's great. It's the there's a lot of tactics that come out of the speed and mobility that the monk has, and the ability to shadow set that I played as a ninja. And so that was actually more fun than I would have expected it to be. One of the things that's super cool about it is the animations. They're incredible. Like uh, we got martial artists to do them. Uh, that's you cool. You just look badass. Like I mean. All the casters look really cool if you prepare a spell and then leave them, they look really cool. With a monk, just prepare something, prepare one of your monk moves and just leave mindling. It looks <laughs> awesome. Yeah, yeah, you actually use actual styles in Kung Fu, like the tiger style, the, the snake style. Oh, um, that's nice. It, it looks great, it also sounds great. Yeah, the drunken team monkey. Had a, a very specific style developed for monk. Uh, well, we hope you enjoy that. Uh, but on the mechanics side, we also had to uh, do a few tweaks for Monk because we saw that in kind a of base class wasn't quite as exciting for some players, um, the, the one that we're adapting from Player's Handbook. Um, so we tweaked it up and, uh, well, I think the results with playtesters are um, explosive <laughs> in the end game. Oh. oh, I thought that was an error or something. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. I don't know. What do you guys think was uh, your favorite class? Now it got me thinking what, what could be my favorite class. Monk, Rogue, Druid. Uh, I don't know. Druid seems kind of fun, honestly. I was, I was thinking of doing a Warlock, but now I don't know. I just don't know. I'm so indecisive right now. I think everybody's going to have a, a huge trouble trying to figure out. The good thing is that you can respect, right? You can respect a bunch. Uh, because they open up that mechanic, they said, I think. Not much bullshit for you. I think you always need to have a spell or two under your sleeve. You can be a bear, you can have sex as a bear. Yeah, true, that's a big point. That's a strong point. Barbarian or monk are the ones I was leaning towards, but sorcerer or bar or ranger or everybody. <laughs> you, it's true, you can make a multi-class. Multipass, multiclass, you know, like in the fifth element. No, I don't know. Okay, let's jump into the game and see what we're gonna create right now. There you go. There is a game. Oh my god. What are the chances? <laughs> what? Jesus. Long away. This music. Ooh. Oh, damn. It's banging, man. Ooh. It's so epic. Holy shit. Damn man, holy crap! I thought I thought the 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 music from Wow, the Stormwind music and all of that was epic, but this is epic as fuck. Holy shit! <laughs> 